what gave you the idea? Like, where, where were you when you were like, you know what, I, this can be a book. Like, people need to know this stuff. I, I had just I started. To sell that information. Yeah, right yeah. I, I had just started at East Haven, mm -hmm. and they were really pushing the teachers to employ more and more technology in their classrooms. Well, where do you get the training? So I thought, let me do a book for teachers about video production. And I called MWP, Michael Weesey uh, Publications, who I had bought a lot of their books, filmmaking titles and, right. and that kind of stuff. And I said, let me do a book for teachers about video. And they said, no. <laughs> uh, can, can, like, okay. It, uh, right. Do it for everybody. Just do a you know do a book about video production techniques for everybody. Um, and I went, okay, right. Um, and and really that's what I thought I was doing was just giving people the techniques. But really what I've in looking back at it, uh, I, what I feel like I'm trying to communicate is a sense of getting over fears of whatever video production you know, hesitations you have right. and really becoming empowered about it and letting the camera be what guides you to those experiences that are more meaningful than just, oh, did I, did I get my laundry done today? Right. right. That's really the mission. Now, had you written stuff before this book? Uh, I wrote for the New Haven Advocate for two years. I covered uh, like local and offbeat sports. Mm -hmm. uh, like I did solar car racing and the pro bowlers tour and weird stuff like that. That kind um, of edge of your seat sports. Kind of off the beaten path, like, you know, extreme sledding, right? Like that, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. I, I'm telling you, I almost got killed up the Woodbury Ski <laughs> and Racket. Extreme and sledding accident. These guys do these that weird, would be a hell they of an built epitaph. these like sleds that, I don't know, they were really fast and scary, it was fun. <laughs> uh, so I, I'd done, you know, sort of traditional print writing. Um, I wrote some screenplays when I, you know, was in LA, but so did everybody else, right. you know what I mean? I shopped them around a little bit, got some okay feedback, uh, wrote a pilot, you know, uh, and just like everybody else with a story from LA, you know, didn't sell it, uh, but became a better writer and a yeah. better communicator. So that's what led to this. How has the book been received? You know, it's funny. Uh, you would think that like filmmakers would really rave about it, but the, the results that I'm getting that I'm proudest of or happiest about are like, a re there's a realtor in uh, Tampa, St. Pete, Florida. Yeah. I'd never met, heard about it through a friend of a friend, posted on the Facebook page for the book, raving about it, right? Now, this guy's not going to make the next Goodfellas, but he's going to be able to use some of the techniques in this to put video of properties that he's selling on his YouTube page, and they're going to be good audio, the color's going to be correct, they're gonna, the exposure's not going to be too dark. So those are the, those are the folks that, uh, when I can help them, that's where I get the most satisfaction. And in the long run, that helps.